Vargas Genius Tutorials, Session 2, Thread Milling for Beginners. Welcome to the Vargas Genius Video Tutorials. Once you log in to the Vargas Genius, choose either a thread turning or a thread milling application. Today's session will focus on the basics of using the Vargas Genius for thread milling. For our session on thread turning applications, click the links shown on the screen or go to our website, www.vargas.com. Now, let's continue. Click the Milling TM Gen button. We start by defining the application by selecting the thread type, internal right hand, internal left hand, external right hand, or external left hand. As an example, we will select the most popular choice, internal right hand. The next field, the thread standard, appears automatically after that selection. Click the drop-down menu to choose one of the standards that are available in the Vargas offering. We'll continue with isometric. Then we will select the pitch for our application. We will select 1.5 millimeters, which is one of the most common pitches in the market. Next, we need to select the DO, which is the outside diameter of the thread, also called the nominal thread size. You can choose the required diameter from the list, which is defined by the ISO standard. Alternatively, type in any custom diameter. For this session, we will select M10 by 1.5 coarse thread. Then type in the length of the thread. In this example, the thread is 20 millimeters. And then select the material of the workpiece. You can view the material description on the right side of the screen. Click the different color tabs, P, M, K, N, S, H, to view each material group. For this selection, choose the material either from the drop-down list or from the preview screen on the right. We will select P6 Low Alloy Steel. The Vargas Genius software presents 14 suitable tools for this application. The tools are sorted by cutting diameter size, D2 from largest to smallest. You can filter the results by family. For example, here we select the TM Solid Helicool HC Solid Carbide Thread Milling Tools with Helical Flutes and Coolant Through. By hovering over each tool, the preview pane shows the tool and all its dimensions and parameters. We will select the first option since the L1, meaning the overhang, is shorter and therefore offers greater rigidity. We are then led to the machining menu. The first field is the pre-drilled hole. The helical tool we selected requires a pre-drilled hole and therefore the width option is the only one available in this field. Next is the milling method, climb or conventional. The Vargas general recommendation is climb milling method. The path type consists of two options, continuous or axial divide. In this case, we selected a multi-tooth tool and therefore selecting axial divide is the recommended method. In controlled power, choose the default option. For one or two or multi-passes, choose either option one, one or two with percentages, which is the basic option for up to two passes, or Option two, multi for multiple passes. In this case, we will select option one, then select the number of passes. Choose from the available grades. In this case, the standard tool we selected is available only in VTH. The cutting speed and RPM are then presented. The default for each parameter is the mean of the recommended range that can be seen on the right side of the screen. Change the cutting speed and the RPM will be calculated automatically. You can also modify the RPM and the cutting speed will change accordingly. The next parameter is the feed, millimeters per tooth. The default is the minimum. In this case, we will change the feed to 0.05. We recommend entering the material at the tangential arc at a lower feed than the rest of the machining operation. 
This will result in a smooth entry to the material. The recommended value for tool entry is 30%. When the job is completed, we recommend retracting the tool from the hole, maintaining a distance of at least 200 millimeters between the tool and workpiece for safety. Change this dimension in the Z-axis retraction field if necessary. Choose the machine controller from the list. We will choose FANUC. Coordinates type, CNC positioning coordinates, tool peripheral, or center of tool. We will choose tool peripheral. The tool offset number. Selecting where in the machine controller you would like to record the tool's length. The next selection, radial offset number, is where in the machine controller you would like to record the tool's radius. Once we click OK, the software automatically calculates the machining time and required cycles. By clicking OK, you can then review the data summary based on the parameters you selected and the Genius calculated software. Scroll down to view the CNC program. You can now email the summary from the software. You can also save and send the CNC program to your milling machine's controller. This concludes the session Thread Milling for Beginners with the Vargas Genius. We encourage you to view additional tutorials in the Genius series. Thank you for joining us today. Like our videos and subscribe to our channel.